My name is Tiffany Liu. I am a general internal medicine physician and addiction medicine specialist. I am a, a practicing in our primary care clinics, providing not just primary care, but also integrated buprenorphine treatment for persons with opioid use disorder. And I am now the director of our new expanded addiction medicine curriculum at Montefiore Einstein. So unfortunately, over the last two decades, opioid-related overdose deaths have continued to increase and in fact really peaked at an all-time high over the last year, coinciding with the COVID-19 pandemic and the need to expand access to evidence-based treatment and person-centered harm reduction is so great. Evidence-based treatment for opioid use disorder has historically faced so many barriers, and in fact, only two out of 10 Americans access evidence-based treatment for, medic for opioid use disorder. And so there are a couple um, key reasons why, and one of those reasons is the stigma surrounding opioid use disorder treatment, um, and it's a very pervasive uh, stigma. Um, but on the other hand, medical schools have always thought of uh, opioid use disorder or addiction treatment as some non-mainstream topic to be taught. And so healthcare providers have not historically come up through medical education being taught on how to uh, safely prescribe, dispense, um, and supervise opioid use disorder treatment. So this grant, which was awarded by the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, is a grant that focuses on uh, promoting integrated education in our medical school and residency program. Specifically at Montefiore Einstein, this grant is so important because it's building on the existing components of education that were always in place for addiction care, but really updating that, uh, expanding it, and enhancing that. And so there is one particular medication that um, it's called buprenorphine. So one of our main focus for this grant is to integrate the training for opioid use disorder uh, treatment and specifically buprenorphine into a medical school curriculum so that medical students when they graduate are armed with the knowledge of what buprenorphine is in the context of other medication treatment for opioid use disorder and how to provide this for patients. Medical schools are not required to teach um, any particular components in the treatment of opioid use disorder. But over the last few years, of course, with national attention over the op opioid overdose epidemic, um, thankfully, an increasing number of uh, medical schools are starting to do this. And I think we at Einstein are um, quite different than the rest of the national trend in that We've already had some embedded uh, components in addiction education over the years. So what we are proposing is not only taking what we've had that was already very unique, but expanding that to include the buprenorphine training I discussed. We're also going to be doing this for medical residents at Montefiore Einstein. And I'm happy to say too that for all of our internal medicine residents, we now actually integrate that buprenorphine training as part of their new two-week addiction medicine rotation that's required and embedded into residency curriculum. We really want to make sure that part of our educational curriculum additions focuses on how to use person-centered and non-stigmatizing language.